This is Luvungi, my town, a town situated in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo in the South Kivu province. This town is situated alongside the Ruzizi River, bordering Burundi and Rwanda. There is a multi-million industry going on in this village and nobody is talking about. In a country like the Democratic Republic of Congo, nature is just giving. In this village, a decent house is constructed by more or less 40,000 bricks. And 10,000 bricks here cost $200. Than 50 centimeters below the ground, you find water in this, this river area. Is called Kamujeri. You guys can see how black it is. I don't know. You never know. DRC is so blessed with a lot of things, including minerals and stuff. During my stay in the Democratic Republic of Congo, made me realize there's so many valuables ignored right here. In this case, we're talking about clay. Oh my goodness. Clay is a valuable and a very important material producing bricks. Locals have learned how to produce bricks. Here is how it made right here in the tiny village of Luvungi, the brick making industry. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm going to show you how they are making these bricks here, right in my home village. It's going to be amazing, I'm believing you guys are going to love it. Because this area is producing very strong bricks. I'm going to show you how it's made from my uncle's experience. And yeah, we're going to have to learn you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bricks are the ultimate sustainable material to build your house. As they are energy efficient, they last forever, require no maintenance, can be reused and recycled, and reduce your home carbon footprint, leaving you with the peace of mind that your home contributes to a greener world. Apparently it's no longer a village, but now a city. I'm in the field right now and you can call this an industrial uh, space where they produce these bricks you know using bare hands they produce so much bricks here that the city itself is being built from direct from the bricks that are being produced here and many others are going to be covered this soil right here is clay and this clay is so good that if you burn it guys if you burn this clay what i want to say is that the bricks that are coming from this soil are very strong very strong and strong and strong bricks has a beneficial effect on the indoor climates as brickwork emits no gases smells or other emissions. It also absorbs sounds and vibration, regulates heat, diffuse water, assists drying after water damage, and provides no nourishment for microorganisms. That happens here. They make them all the way from the soil, and here there's no ingredient, just the soil and water. Jamo, eh? Hey. Look at this. When compared to many other uh, fracing materials such as uh, so-called concrete bricks, plastics, glass and others, natural clay bricks remain one of the most eco-friendly, flexible, cost-effective and beautiful material used in construction. This is already strong but still have to go like they are doing those ones over there as if uh, they are building a house and then they burn them guys this is just so amazing after burning them the brick becomes strong like a piece of uh, of uh, of a stone this is the way they put these bricks here there's a certain way that they you know 
they put them and they leave a, a way up to the middle and then the other side it starts again somehow i don't know man they make it like a pyramid or something it starts big and then it goes small small up until to the highest level the way depending on how much is the bricks like this one is still going to go high maybe to this level as this one they can still go higher even higher and then they will place the wood in there and then they they close up and after closing up it bends and all that this is the wood that like this one is already bent they already bent this one ready to evacuate taking advantage of this water hey Akui so here is the river that we are taking advantage of and it's uh, called Kamuje let me see if they get some fish yeah there you go something is there We port and 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 the problem is is my mate is out of my tune and that's because he's not cut you cut you out. Little is known about bricks that are produced in this village or in this town of Luvungi. In the 90s, very little or less houses were constructed with clay bricks. This only because locals didn't really know how to produce bricks. And this village, this town of Luvungi has taken advantage of that. They are producing a lot, a lot, a lot more of bricks that are constructing a bigger, bigger, bigger city as Bukavu. Hey, jumbo, jumbo. Wazima. D and D. We're just gonna try and go down. See how the road has degraded. These are community cows. Look at how this road is being now. Wazima wakak. Ukora kimbia barabara. Sawa sawa. So 
The situation is very bad, you guys. The town like this, and the government is doing nothing about this road, man. Look at this. I just don't know, man. I don't know what the DLC has done to God or to these politicians or to Congolese themselves. Nothing is being done about this. This is all the water that is coming from the city. You know, and you guys, as I'm getting here, I remember there used to be a camp here for the rebels that used to conquer all this whole town. And if you cross here, because we use to go get water from the river, if you cross here, you say, thank God. They used to stay over there, over those uh, trees. And they will collect your water, actually. As you guys can see, there's water coming all the way from the city. And you see, it's already on the gravel side. Now going down. Just too crazy. Otherwise, let's walk. The road that used to be tarred, this is what's left of it. Jumbo and what? Oh, this is... This reminds me a lot, man. This reminds me a lot. Just keep going. <laughs> I wonder if I didn't go out of there, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> So uh, this whole town is under, it's built, it's like, it's on sand as you guys can see. So building sand here is, you just collect it from the river. You only pay the loaders. And that's how it goes. You only pay the loaders. Guys, I'm not gonna take long. Here, I'm just gonna show you. This is the small river that is causing so much trouble. I remember I do have a picture here when I was still young, when I was 12. I think I was standing over there when I got baptized. So many memories, so much to remember here. Man. The bridge is still the very same, the same one I left. This used to be here, I think they added those ones. And the other thing that we used to be, we used to do here, it used to be stony, so we'll avoid the site. And we used to play and jump from the bridge to the inside the river. <laughs> That was crazy, man. And it was exactly right here. We will jump down there because the river used to be much more big here. Oof, that's. So women used to come that side and men used to come. There. Man, amazing stuff. Otherwise, you guys, so much memories, so much to remember. If you remember anything about here, let me know in the comment section. And if uh, this is your very first time, my name is Imani Nigaze, showing you the Africa nobody shows you. <laughs> so together, you guys, we are going to discover Africa in its entirety. And yeah, so subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Give this video a like and also, um, you know, share the video with friends. Your comments will be appreciated. Stay tuned.